Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Phantom Doctrine. So, this is new to the channel, but it's not exactly a brand new game. I played this uh, back in the day. I really, really enjoyed it. It's a bit of a spy thriller um, set with an XCOM styling to it, but obviously a bit more stealth and a lot more sort of espionage aspects in your overworld map. Really cool. If you're not familiar with it, but you do like the new XCOMs or Phoenix Points, it's worth looking into. Um, it's also the follow-up from uh, Hard West, also done by uh, Creative Forge Games, the guys that did this. Uh, it's a, another a great game, like a, a sort of a gritty western with a great narrative set in a, an XCOM sort of combat system. Um, main reason I'm looking at this is because they have recently announced they're working with uh, Slytherin, from what I understand. Even though Creative Forge unto themselves are releasing a whole bunch of games like Aircraft Carrier Survival, um, they're uh, working on a Stargate game. Uh, Stargate Timekeepers? Yeah, it's only uh, only really recently just popped up on my radar, but that's exciting, and if it's anything like this, that should be cool if it's like XCOM style with base research and going through different gates to different planets. Should be cool! But anyway, the focus today is to have a look at this game because it's a banger, and it's worth showing off because, like I said, it's, it's on my mind at the moment. Um, if you do enjoy it, make sure you let me know, uh, because there's a path to us turning this into, you know, a 50 episode run or something like that, if that's what people are interested in. So we'll just do the regular story here, but it seems that there's an extended version if I manage to clock it, which, you know, I clock nothing these days. <laughs> Let's put it on medium. Um, tutorial, sure, I can't remember anything. And Iron Man mode, because I'm a big hard boy and I like Iron Man mode the most. So you can play as a CIA or KGB, and it would seem the third party that's causing trouble in this game um, is, uh, I think, the last playable faction once you finish a playthrough. Anyway, let's just go CIA. That's generic enough. I mean, we could go a dude. I guess we could go a uh, male or for male. You know, you've got all the bloody big old generic heads. What's going on there? What's that around you? Oh, it's a scarf. It's like, Jesus, you're wearing a bloody shackle around your neck. It's like, okay, yeah. kids these days. Roger Brown. Doesn't get much more generic than that. Look at this dude. He's got an unironic mullet. Wow. Wow. With that lack of self-awareness, you can't go wrong. Let's go him. Big Rog. Now, what's his... I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in the lack of mullets on the character. Uh, depending on the, the, the portrait that you pick, it does actually give you a default sort of dude. But these graphics aren't going to blow your socks off. It is obviously on an indie or double A budget. But it is cool that each dude sort of looks like their thing, and you, you can change them fairly... There's a fairly robust customization system. There's also a thing later on, like, uh, your agents generate heat. You know, because obviously they're undercover, or, you know, the big thing is secrecy, but if they get discovered or the enemy figures out who they are, it can get in all sorts of trouble. So to reduce heat, you can do all sorts of things, and one of them, I believe, is, like, pull on bloody plastic surgery and that, so you can literally change your dude's head and re-passport him and all that. So that's, that's an actual uh, cool reason for having character customization other than, you know, weird wish fulfillment because you're unhappy with your life or something. All right, anyway, let's just start with that. The events you're about to see may have been buried or covered up. Those with traceable records have been marked with the specific date that they occurred on. Verify at your own risk, but trust no one. All right, that's how we set it up. Let's go. All right, all right. The CS Marquis. And that is a submarine. Oh. So we got a bit of a... This, we're putting something on the submarine. Jeez, that dude looks very serious. And wearing a bloody this gas mask. Juliet uniform. Reporting contraband seized. Oh. Understood. Break off patrol. Head back to base. Okay. HMS Conqueror broke her silence. HMS Conqueror is the submarine, I think. Got intel from Vladivostok. Maybe? It's big, Steve. Langley seen it yet? No. Should they? Hell yeah, but use the network. We don't want anyone listening in. Right. MI6 seized Marquis and Cargo. Americans. Right. Anyone else you want Intercepted CI Americans? network. I am handling it, Valhalla. Right. Get out. Both of you. Your incompetence has exposed <laughs> this is us. very Bond villain. Now Iceberg is in jeopardy. 
Doing all of this in the open was your idea. True. It was a simple plan that any fool could have executed. And you failed. Gentlemen, this problem is easily solved. Oh! Traitors! Now, now, don't shout. It's bad for your heart. But you're gonna zap him. Oh, it sounds like they electrocuted him. Oh. You did? I don't know. Right, geez, it's already bloody off. Beholder Initiative Covert Ops Urgent Top Secret. So they must be Beholder, right? Operation Threshold in East Berlin. High value cargo hijacked by British. Right, the British hijacked that cargo. Yes. Agent Kingfish to redeploy in UK. Run Recovery Ops. Right, we're deploying this dude. I've just got to get my head around this, that's all. To, to recover it. Phase one, enter British sex sector in FRG. Collect necessary forms from secured location. Activate sleeper asset Rook. Further orders to be disclosed in due course. Handler Valhalla. Okay. Reach the sleeper agent and activate his control phrase. Steel shipping manifest. Evacuate on the other side of the border. Okay. Yeah. So... As a tutorial, I guess we're playing as the third party. Beholder, I think they were called. I hope you have a good reason for pulling me off that RAF gig. Absolutely. This operation is crucial to Project Iceberg. Why are you even talking to me? You're taking an awful risk. Nonsense. They may be expecting defectors, but not the kind of hardware you're carrying. Ihre Papiere, bitte. Papers, please. Is this guy getting zapped? Yeah. He's not going home to the wife and kids. Holy heck! What is going on here, bro? Bloody Walter White's gone ballistic with an AK. Alright, in we go. I remember this, actually. The audio being just crap. I wonder if there's, uh, much we can do about that. Master volume, cinematic volume, voice volume. I've already got it turned all the way up, you know? Oh, we'll see how we go. What happens? Can I turn all the... I might just turn everything else down a, a bit. Let's see if we can sort of wrangle that a little bit. Okay, we're in infiltration. They'll only react if you do something. Didn't I already kill this man? Huh. Move to the indicated position. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, most actions cost action points. Also fire points. Turn-based game. Yes. Right. End turn. All right, I can see we've got the little pip above me head. Enemy activity. Here they go. Doing their little patrols. Be extra careful when entering a restricted zone. If the guard sees you, you'll set off the alarm. Skip the rest of the turn and the guard will continue to patrol. Mouse over the character preview patrol path. Okay, we can see where he's going. So we'll just bloody chill here. Who is this agent deadpan your file spoke about? The latest CIA washout. Could be dangerous. I sincerely doubt that. Restricted area move, okay, yeah. I'm trespassing. Avoid cameras, they'll trigger the alarm. Oh, there it is there. Disable it with CCTV, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Oh, I have to left click, ah. Oh. Oh, I've turned the, the TV off. Yeah, yeah. I can handle myself. You're right. Into the main building. Okay. Where's he patrolling? Doesn't look like he's patrolling at all, right? Found our puppet. Enemy agent located. 
Oh, sleeper agent. He's literally a sleeper agent. We gotta wake him up. Unlock him. Control phase. Let's go. <laughs> oh, okay. This is some serious sci-fi stuff. Let's go. Sleeper agent is safe to go anywhere. Go upstairs. Use the mouse wheel to change floors. Then select... To okay, here we go. Up you go, mate. Guards can be taken down silently, provided their HP is lower than that of the attacker. Oh, okay, I can see that. Yep. Yeah. Non-lethal takedown. West German customs. Bullets. All characters have certain levels of awareness. It is used uh, by selecting actions. See, it's almost like a mana bar, but this is also how they dodge, I believe, bullets. In combat, awareness allows you to dodge when shot at, effectively reducing received damage. Awareness regenerates every turn, and it can be raised by abilities and items. Yeah, so... I think cover is still a thing, yeah. But the but uh, I, I think that shots are treated as always hitting. I can't quite remember. Like, it's not strictly that there's a dice roll, but it's all about mitigation. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. But it's unusual. Use spotter support to lift fog of war and reveal enemies. Oh, okay, yeah. So we've got like a sniper or like sort of overwatch. Oh, and you can see where he's facing from the compass. Look at that. What do you got for me? We'll get a little cutscene as well. Look into the documents, but we'll have to breach the room. Don't worry, I'll clean the mess after. Place your agent at the door for the breach attack. Okay. Waiting on you. And you're gonna go up there too as well. Okay. I like the music, the saxophone. Select the Breach ability. Here we go. Breach confers a damage bonus, making it extra deadly. Right. Let's Breach. So they coordinate together. That's cool, man. Look at that. Note that using non-suppressed weapons always triggers an alarm and starts combat. Ah. Alarm is raised. Okay, enemy activity. Unsuppressed gun has been fired. It's bloody on now. All right, grab the documents from the safe. Let's go. Call the evac. Oh, here we go. Confirm. Evac arrives in two turns. Set up Overwatch to guard the room. Oh. Right, so there's directional Overwatch. Move the other dude to the window. Okay. Set up Overwatch. Long range Overwatch has a conical area of effect as opposed to a circular short range. Ah, so you can long range in a cone or you can do it in a just a circular radius, I think, at short range. Overwatch, here we go. Right, in turn. So if someone comes running in here, we're going to zap them. Come on, boys, hold it down. Enemy, enemy's bloody taking his time. What's going on here? Oh, here he comes. Blah, blah. That's a lot of blood that came out of him. Look at this. So, oh, what a setup. Jump out the window and take cover. Cover reduces incoming damage. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Well, one FP and one AP you can do full auto attack, which will suppress the enemy, practically removing their awareness. Ah. Damage versus... Here we go, right. Damage versus awareness. Phantom Doctrine has no random chance to hit, but attacks can deal varying amounts of damage presented as follows. Maximum damage and minimum damage. So 84, 54. Targets automatically dodge incoming attacks provided they aren't at point blank range. Dodging costs awareness. A dodged attack deals minimum damage. Else, maximum damage. Right, so it's... Oh, it's not a sliding scale. It's one or the other. Damage is further reduced by target, armor, and cover. In infiltration and at the beginning of combat, enemy awareness is always zero except for enemy agents. Right, so... 
But how much awareness do you lose? That's the one thing I want to know. Move to ground level and hide behind full cover. Full cover provides prote a bit of protection. Yeah, fair enough. This is all, you know, standard fair. Jesus. It can't have been good for your fingers. Some weapons are accurate enough to land devastating headshots, but cost awareness. Right. So you can see there, 70 awareness. And I've got 80. And I can zap him for a headshot. Fire selected enemy with devastating shot that ignores cover protection, costs awareness. Okay, damage 76 and 8, but is he not going to dodge? If you really think so. Like, I get that it ignores cover. Maybe headshot ignores awareness as well. I don't know. Because he, he looked like he had a bar underneath his health bar with awareness on it. We'll work it out. It's a bit of a confusing system, but ultimately, you know, it's consistent, so that means we should be able to should be able to squeeze it, you know? Bend it, break it even. Why are we here again? Okay, when the evac compromised timer elapses, you'll incur a danger penalty upon the conclusion of the mission. Note, however, that does not affect the mission's success or failure. Oh. 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 I think that's a meta thing. Like, as in, it'll affect the overworld game. Objective complete. Let's go, Big Rook. Evacuate now. Dude, we killed a lot of blokes. Get in the little bloody minivan. Let's go, boys. You've reached the end of the tutorial. Okay, well, you know, that was pretty pretty f fair enough, pretty robust. Unsanctioned raid Whitefish in Sargoda. We arrived in Pakistan to check up on their alleged nuclear program. We enter the mission area in disguise, but it isn't foolproof. Keep clear of high-ranking Pakistani troops. Do not engage unless they fire first. Confirm the existence of the fission device then evacuate before they know we were even here. Okay. So we're going straight into the main campaign now. I wonder if that tutorial will have any bearing later. We'll see. Six weeks earlier. You really think this Pakistani nuclear program is legit? Leslie's usually right about these things. Really? Shit. I bet him ten bucks it wasn't. You're a hopeless dreamer, Bolt. Huh? <laughs> Bit of bands. Yeah, right. Eighty three, there we go. Found a nice landing spot. Agents disguise and can go safely without raising the alarm. Suspicious actions witnessed by enemies or civilians trigger combat. Enemy agents always see through the disguise. I don't think he'll be joining us on this one. He's on the move. Can I just click where I want to go? Like there? How about you? Okay. Okay, so you can't queue up an advanced thing. Oh, deadpan. Okay. Laser barriers. Oh, there. That's my dude that I made. It's Mr. Mullet, Bloody MacGyver. Bolt. Get rid of the laser barriers. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Tab. Disable laser barriers. Optional. Oh, hang on. Is that what this is over here? Oh, what's that? That's flashing. In turn. Okay. Standing by for orders. Get out of the way. What's cooking? What's cooking? Hmm. 
Let's just... Oh, look, 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 that's flashing. That's cool. In turn. This dude's not going to move. Hang on, we might need backup here. Might have to bash them both, I guess, right? In turn. Is she gonna patrol straight back again? She is too. I guess I position like that. Canasta. I like that they're all going to have like spy names. That's pretty cool. All right. Can you bash? Can you bash this dude? Take down. Incapacitate them. Cost awareness. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> karate chop. Let's go. Now, bash this scientist. Uh, See you later. What do you require? I need you to activate this machine. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Now, can you grab that? Whatever that is. Classified documents, okay, cool. What about you? You can bloody get a wriggle on, eh? Reach the sealed off area. Collect additional intel. Breaching the bunker is recommended. You got a lot of background noise. What's up? Lost the tail by hopping on a million dollar yacht. No big deal. Well, we're looking for the reactor. No luck. Traces everywhere, though. It's there, guaranteed. Keep looking. Find proof of the project. Hang on, they they want me to breach the. I don't want to breach the bunker. Oh, intern. Let's start shooting all these poor innocent blokes. All they did was turn up to bloody work, you know? You go investigate up there. See a security camera in there. Any roof access? Doesn't look like this camera is here, so maybe we can. What's that dude doing? Oh, this dude's patrolling. Oh, we might be able to snake it when they patrol away. That's cool. Let's do that. What's cooking? What's cooking? That's right. We'll just leave some of that intel for the moment. Here we go, yoink. Yoink. Look at that. Leslie, Bolt totally owes you ten bucks. We've got a reactor and what looks like a fission device. Leslie, look at him. 
copy. We'll save some legwork if we jump over the wall from the roof here. Bolt? I heard you. Activate your beacon now. I'll meet you at the LZ. Oh, right, okay. Evacuate there. I'm on my way. I trust this is important. How do I get over the wall? Just up there, maybe? What's cooking? What a goose. Mm. What happens if I get in the way of this dude's patrol path? It's a good question. Oh, he goes around? Hey, clever boy. Oh, right, because that guy was going to be in the way. Ah, I thought it was the ladder problem. Yeah, so I could do the breach, but I don't know. I don't, don't really want to shoot all these blokes. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it all turns out. Oh. Jiminy Christmas. Jiminy Christmas. They're doing their test. Why would they blow themselves up? Hmm. But they have the technology. Interesting. What the? Let's get out of here. Vehicle ETA one minute or one turn. Here we go. Oh, it's a healer. That's cool. Geez, subtle. Just fly it straight in. Can we evac? I have to evac each dude individually. Is that. Evac your friendly presence. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There we go. That's cool. Success. Equipment acquired zero. Documents acquired one. Okay, cool. So there's some collectible sort of stuff. Okay. Okay. Chapter one outfoxed. Leslie, my mentor, asked me to investigate rumors of nuclear research in Pakistan. During our incursion, we witnessed a cold test of a fission device, which means that the Pakistani are at most months away from gaining nuclear capability. Somebody had to sell them the technology. Yeah, okay. 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 No loot was obtained. Sad. Secret documents found. Complex briefings. Okay, cool. And there's my little squad. Look at the guns that they had as well. They weren't missing around. Uh, okay, continue. Vendor's on the line. Someone must have told him about our little trip. Put him through. Agent Deadman, uh, I regret to inform you an, an inspection of your operations is imminent. Why is that? Hard to be sure, but my money is on the allegations of an unsanctioned operation in Pakistan. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Leslie isn't your handler anymore. I am. Keep, keep ignoring that. Yeah, this voice acting is so soft. I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. It's uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, cool. So we've got like a crew quarters. So there's our dudes. Durand, Canasta leveled up. So is Deadpan, Dundee, <laughs> Rat Pack, 
some cool names going on here. Right, okay. Crew quarters allows you for equipping agents. Also, when they level up, they can be sent to training uh, and unlock reputation perks. Uh, okay. Or intuition perks, sorry. Infirmary can assign injured agents to restore health. The longer they're hospitalized, the faster the process goes. That's pretty cool. We've got a workshop for crafting items otherwise unavailable and perform various things. Oh, okay. Here we can unlock upgrades and new facilities, forgers facilities, so we can make we can forge money and all that sort of stuff. That's cool. Analytics expansion. And analytics. You assign agents to solve uh, the secret files, right? Gather more intel. Work the investigation board. Do you want to go through? I do, I do want to do this real quickly because it's it's a cool thing. I, I remember this being cool. This is a quick little tutorial. Draw a line between the two related files. So you can see Dean McMacken, Dean McMacken. So you can join the pin like that and it covers it out. Now make the remaining two connections, right? Larry McDonald with that. Chamberlain and Chamberlain. Bang. Solved. Out of intel. Additional intel is obtained by informers, interrogation, and during tactical missions, which we can pick up, right? In this tutorial, you get it for free. So here's some intel that we would have collected. You can put it on the board. There you go. Some intel requires analysis. You open it up and you read the redacted file. File, figure out keywords from the context of sentences. Look for code names for agents, places, and organizations. So I still call it Aguirre's office. Now find the two missing keywords. We'll cover girl. We've seen that one before, right? Before you throw another fit, yes. I've read your report on the incident at the Atlanta convention. That sound maybe, no. But even if your intel about Big Daddy, about Big Daddy, Big Daddy, there you go. Close the piece of intel, right? Make the remaining connections. So we'll connect Aguirre to that. Cover girl to that. Look at that. And then they all tie off neatly and tutorial complete. So how cool is, uh, is that? Complex briefings, intel collected. Here we go. Organization and place. So this is the one thing that we picked up. Congratulations, comrades. Division H. There you go. Says Iraqis have been driven out of Kuzakistan for now. And Komlimi's even more of a hero than before. What had that happen? I'm told it's because the Iranians had help from blah, blah, blah. Sabotage. Actually, it's all as planned. With the Iraqis humiliated, the war will fester for at least a couple more years. And since we're best friends to both of them, we'll make sure that we have enough to sustain hostilities. Um, oh, okay. It's one from each thing. I see. Place. Comrade. Things we discussed in... Kremlin thinks we can win in Afghanistan what we have. Um, going to crash the helicopters? No, that would mean our machines are bad. No, we need the Afghans to put a fight. You want to arm? Suggest as much back in Oak Town, right? There we go. So there's our two bits of intel. So we've got Division H and that, but that's all we've got. So it's still still coming together. And then we've got the overworld map, right? Managing your espionage network is all about deciding who goes where and when. Enemy agents are conducting operations with more or less dire consequences. So they're, they're doing their own stuff as well. Your job is to find them, assess the danger and decide whether to stop them or conserve your resources. Every job and every assignment takes time to complete. When you're in your hideout time is paused. You can only activate it from the world map screen. Okay. So this is where we are in Beirut. This is where your hideout is located. Enemies are trying to find it and destroy it. Behind the danger, the danger, the chance of raid is higher as well. No enemy agents in this location, right? But like, for example, we can send dudes out. Right? We could send like bloody dead maybe we keep dead pan nearby or something right well i don't i don't really know maybe we just bloody send dead pan let's go travel right and then if you were to unpause it he will travel to it and then from there this location presents no enemy or allied activity you can still send agents to this area as a staging ground for other operations so we're sort of like watching it which is pretty cool. Um, oh no, hang on, we already did that. 
And uh, that's pretty much it for the moment. But there's more buildings and more stuff to, to be built. But on that world map, we basically deploy our, our agents individually. Um, here it is here. And explore all these different areas. Looking for bad guys, trying to, you know, flip informants, all that sort of thing. It gets very complicated. And it's very, very cool. And you can see this is like our sort of danger level for our hideout. Yeah. Anyway. What a slapper of a game. I'm, I'm, uh, I hope it's well received. If people enjoy it, let me know, because I would love to play more of this. Um, otherwise, team, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.